hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so i wanted to make a video about you know inverter acs so i see a lot of misconception with people that you know buying inverters ac it saves a lot of power <laughs> but when you get into the reality the way inverters acs are the way they work the way they operate is totally different when you trying to compare them with a the conventional ac so if you see right here i have my lg dual inverter ac so it has a three star rating so when you take consideration the power consumed by it it is definitely higher than a five star conventional ac so if you check at the power ratings here see so it's almost 1830 watts okay the cooling capacity is 5000 watts so these numbers are the highest capacity that ac the air conditioning can function so then what is the difference so what difference does this make why do people say they save energy save every day so let's get into some facts so one thing is in the conventional ac when you request for temperature 18 the compressor keeps to uh, starts functioning at full speed maybe if the highest limit is 14 degrees that it can maintain it functions at full speed and whenever it reaches 18 degrees it cuts off okay then it has to start all over again when the temperature keeps start increasing and the thermostat kicks in so it, it starts all over again what happens is during on and off transitions so if the air conditioning is rated at 1500 watts maybe it starts consuming 1500 watts fully that's almost 1.5 units an hour so what difference these inverter ac is I made it. I'll show you a live example. So what I have here, I have is a, it's a power monitor, so it can show you the live reading of what's consumed by the appliance. Let's switch this on. Yeah. So it's switched on. So let's see. On a standby, so you can see what power the air condition is consuming here. So it's almost at seven point seven point eight watts. Okay, so now this is the air conditioner remote. So let's switch this thing on. So we have test this. Set the temperature at twenty six, and the room temperature is at thirty degrees. As of now, let's reduce the fan speed, so you can guys hear what I'm saying. So you can see here, the consumption is slowly rising. I can hear the compressor kicking in. So when you factor in that 1200 watts, so it's not a very low amount of power. It's, it's a huge, very huge amount of power. It's almost like 1.2 units every hour. So when you take a conventional AC, which is a five star, maybe it is rated at some 1100 watts, 1095 watts, with the same cooling capacity, of course. So that is how they calculate that the star rating. It depends upon how much power it is consumed and how much cooling is giving out. So based on that, they will give you the star rating. So the fun fact is, so now it's at twelve hundred watts, and the room temperature is still at thirty degrees. So let's wait for five minutes and see. Once the temperature falls down to twenty-seven or maybe twenty-eight, twenty-seven, twenty-six, that range, then we'll see how much the power consumption is here. So now, if you can see the power consumption, it is almost ten minutes from the initial switching on time. Now it has fallen down to 800 watts. So the rated power here is almost 1800, and it is consuming only 800. So that is less than 50 percent of the power. The reason being is the AC has functioned for quite some time, and now we can see the room temperature. It has reached 28 degrees, so the inverter AC starts slowing down. <laughs> now, if you can see. the consumption has dropped down to 361 watts so out of 1800 watts that's just like 1/6 of what the ac is originally entitled to consume <clears throat> so the reason the primary reason behind this is the main factor is the temperature you choose and the outdoor temperature 
So suppose if I factor in the same temperature in the afternoon, so this is a west side window, I have have the sun directly facing onto the AC outdoor unit. So the compression, the consumption will be very high. It's somewhere at 700 watts, 600 watts. But at night times, if the outside temperature is really cold, this will fall down to maybe 220 watts, just like your ceiling fan. And if it is a little warm outside, which is right now, which it is, it will go up to somewhere 350 to 500 watts. That's like a unit every two and after three hours. So out of a night's sleep, you will just consume maybe two or three units. So out of my last month's consumption, so I just got an electricity bill, which was an extra amount for just 400 rupees. So I used a conventional unit before, which was also in LG, a three star LG. So I used to get somewhere 900, 950 bucks extra than my original power consumption, especially in summers. But whereas when I chose the inverter, that has dropped down to 450 units. So I mean, 450 rupees. So one thing you need to remember is, so what kind of temperature you are interested to choose. So if some guys like their rooms very chilly, just like they feel, they want to feel it like winter. So when you, if you are, if you are thinking to go for that and you think inverter will save power at that case that is not going to happen because inverter at full power will consume electricity as per its star rating but when you choose some moderate temperatures somewhere between 22 to 30 degrees maybe then you can see the compressor really really slows down to one sixth of what its speed is and if it is hot outside, it is going to consume more power because you know the refrigerant expands due to heat from the room, takes it to the compressor, the compressor compresses it again, makes it colder. So when it is really hot outside, the compressor has to do some extra work doing this complete cycle. So that is it guys. So that is what the inverter technology is. So you can see the room temperature is slowly climbing up and it slowly starts increasing the consumption. It doesn't go straight away to 1800 and 0, 1800 and 0. So it slowly goes up and slowly goes down. So one thing you can be confident about it is if you're buying an inverter, if you're choosing a moderate temperature, you will definitely save a lot of money. So when you compare it with a conventional AC, it says power there when you are choosing for very, very higher temperatures. I'm sorry, very low temperatures, maybe you go to 16 and 18. No, you are not going to save any power. In fact, this will consume full lot of power. I can show you right now. So, we'll go to somewhere 18 degrees and you can. As you can see now, I have set the temperature at 18 degrees now. So let me focus in and you can see the consumption. It is at 1524 watts and it is slowly climbing up. So by mid of the night it will reach 1600 watts and if you are planning to use an inverter AC at 18 degrees for all night, 30 days, you will burn your pocket. It will consume somewhere between 480 units by the end of the month. So that's it guys. So this is a some and even using 18 degrees is not safe for your inverters also because if it's a copper or condenser it is fine but this one you can see it has an aluminium condenser. The life of that such condenser will fall down very easily. It has, I mean, it has a aluminium heat exchanger inside. So that's it, guys. So that's it. Some basic knowledge about inverter ACs and how do they function, how do they behave. So I hope this video will help you. Thank you. Have a great day.